What's happening, Ice Cubes? My name is Matty Ice Cube, and I wanted to make this vlog. I, 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 this is my second take of trying to do this because I forgot that my microphone wasn't correct. I guess. Am I talking this time? I am. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. <laughs> oh. And I'm I'm making this video to talk about. This is, I'm going to be talking about Mystic Hills. And no, I'm not here to say spoilers. I'm not here to tell you what's going to happen. I'm never going to tell you what's going to happen until it actually comes out. And then if you guys want somebody to explain it, I, go talk to Mania. She, she and I wrote it together, but go talk to her. It's her story. I just helped. Um, I helped write a lot of it. And I wanted to talk about that. I wanted to talk about my role in this story making process and uh, i'm gonna start from the very beginning like back way 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 back and i'm gonna take this one step at a time this time instead of jumping everywhere because <laughs> that's what i did in the last one uh i when i first came about this i Originally, I was just one of you guys. I really loved the series. Like, I enjoyed the story, and I enjoyed where it was going. And I was like, have you started on a season two script and stuff? And she's like, yeah, you want to see it? And I'm like, yeah, cool. I'll take a look at it. And I took a look at it, and I read it. And then I'm like, oh, this needs corrected. And then I kind of became her unofficial editor at that stage. <laughs> so I edited all her mistakes. And then by the time I had finished editing out all her mistakes and grammar and such to make it easier she had already started a casting call for voice actors and i had finished reading the story and i was like there's there's something missing here there's something i'm not sure what it is but there's something and then it hit me and then my idea has now changed the story completely like what mania's original story was going to be from season one to what happened in season two is completely different from what it was originally because my idea changed it because we're going down a whole different path like we like if this if this say this line here is the original path we went this way we went up like we upgraded i don't want to say that my idea was better I'm going to say that it helped a lot. And it's not my story. It's her story. I'm not here to take any credit or take any glory out of what Mania has done. Because she's done it. She's brought it to life. It is her story, not mine. And I'm probably going to reiterate that like 10, 12 different times. So be ready for that. <laughs> um, and it completely changed the direction of the story. And... I tried to pitch this idea so much. At first, she was like, no, that can't work. It's not going to work. It's never going to work, ever. But I was really persistent with it. And I, I wrote out I wrote out a timeline of events that could, and happen, could happen and what might have happened. And eventually, I think I tried pitching it for over a month. And she finally was like, all right, yeah, let's go with this. And from there on, it took off, and now we have the story that we have now. It completely changed everything. But this is her bread and butter. It's her story. I'm, I'm just happy to have helped. Now, I also want to talk about my, <laughs> my role as Adrian, because... That's also another interesting story because originally I wasn't supposed to be Adrian. I was, I originally casted for Terrence and I did a live cat. I did a live audition and she kind of helped point me out where I'm lacking, where I was lacking, what I was, what I was not doing right. And I was trying, I really tried because that was back before I wasn't confident in my voice because that was just a, ye a year and a half ago. When I I had been doing YouTube for over a year and a half, and I was like, oh, I'm not, I'm still not too sure about it, but I had a lot of practice. I had a really sturdy voice, and I knew there was a lot of potential that I could unlock with, 
in my in my vocal cords because there's a lot of potential in there that I can I can find if I can find it if I dig for it I know I can find it but then she suggested I take Adrian because that it really doesn't take much Adrian's voice is just my voice but just a lot calmer and more about an octave lower and calmer and very knowledgeable and very very wise and very collective and very calm and it's just it's just this very weird duality of my personality because normally I'm really outgoing and loud and because everybody knows that's what I am I'm really loud I my voice carries really well I'm very I'm a loud person by nature I'm very outgoing in social interactions um, and it's usually what drives people away <laughs> Uh, because they're not used, they're, they're not used to people like me being so outgoing. They're like, uh, he looks kind of like the, 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 the introverted type that doesn't really like to talk much. And then I surprise them by doing a complete 180 and being like, oh, hey, how are you? Hi. <laughs> and it just completely catches them off guard. And they're like, oh, uh, th hi, I'm sorry. We, we won't bother you. And normally I'm like, no, 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 you, you're, you're not bothering me at all. Um, and I, 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 I love that. Um, but that's completely off topic, but I doing Adrian and watching that character come to life, watching me bring that character to life with just my voice and then watching mania take my voice and have an actual physical character there for me to play as is amazing. It's amazing what she's done. And it's, I've come so far, I've come pretty decently far as an, a voice actor from the start, because I was pretty much garbage at the start. Um, we're not professionals in any way. Chris is probably the only pro professional out of all of us. Um, but I, I've come really far in terms of sculpting my voice for that character because and this will lead me into my next point because my involvement after season three is over will be minimum to zero and i at that po at this point i've kind of accepted that i very much accept that because that's just it's the end of an era i would like to say it's the end of an era because mystic hills has been a big part of my life for the past year and a half because I've been trying to help get it made and get it done and it's taken up a lot of my time I've put a lot of work into it and helping Mania do all those things is not easy like I don't want to be the guy that's like oh she's so difficult to work with but sometimes sometimes like most of the time we bounce off each other really well we work really well together and we can bounce ideas back and forth. And that's that's very much what we did with Season 3. We were kind of, at first, we were really laid back with Season 3. Because we were just kind of be like, let's just go fucking nuts. And at first, we were on board with that. But then after a while, Mania kind of got bored with it. And she wanted to do something different. And then I'm like, well, does it make sense to the main part of the story? And she's like, does it have to? And I'm like, but th th of course. And we butted heads. And it became really difficult to, to get things finished at that point and the final episode took us forever to do because i i wrote a majority of that episode like 80 percent of that episode was all me because she's she's not good with fight scenes it was very difficult to do it was very hard to pull off and again i'm not here to tell you what's going to happen i'm not going to tell you what's happening you guys will have to find out when it comes out because what we've done with season three of all my gripes and groans about what we've done season three is probably the peak of our storytelling ability because by the end of it it will close full circle the whole story of mystic hills will close full circle and it will end because and that's kind of why i'm talking about like my my involvement for, with mania's stuff will kind of go from I have a pretty high level of involvement right now. It'll go from that level to almost zero after Mystic Hills because I'm I won't be needed really cuz I 
because it's just it's the end of an era for me on my channel it's kind of the end of an era because this has been a huge part of me through youtube because i because coming up here in about three months tomorrow three months tomorrow will be my in three months from tomorrow it'll be my third year on youtube that'll be my third year anniversary and this has been such a huge part of my life for the past year and a half and that's a long time to work on something. But I I loved it. I've loved the challenge. I've loved the, the ups and the downs because there's always ups and downs and that sort of stuff. And that's kind of what I live for. I live for the challenge in things. Like for games and such, you guys, you guys know on my channel, if you guys have watched some of the games that were harder because I made it harder, I live for the challenge of these of those things some most days. I live for it. And this new thing that I tried with helping to script and then voice act was a new challenge. And I, I rose to the challenge and I think I've conquered it at this point. And I've loved it. But this, it will be the end. After season three, that'll be it. That'll be the end. And I, I'm very sad about that. I'm really sad about that because... And, but I've accepted that. I'm not, like, angry about it. Like, oh, she won't involve me anymore. No, I'm, I, I'm completely understanding of that because that's just the way it is. Because, like, after Mystic Hills, like, my involvement is done. I'll be cut. And that's that's fine. Like, even if she revives it later on and recasts somebody else as Adrian, I'll always be Adrian from mystic hills like that's that's how much of an impression i've left off on the fans and that's that's what i love i love the fans reaction to what's going on with the story i love that some fans are really on board with me being as adrian and i love it but um ah uh, because i work with a great cast i work with a great crew for this this project like Everybody is great. I love working with Sepia and Chris and Mania and Blue and Chicha. And I love working with all of these people, Alexis and Rose. And I've, I've loved working with all these people and meeting all these people because it's it's been amazing. It's been great. And by far, this doesn't mean like, oh, I'm quitting as soon as I possibly can and get all my lines finished. No, I, I, I'm not quitting anything. I am, it's, I'm kind of just understanding that I'm reading the writing on the wall at this point because that's kind of just what's going to happen anyway. Like, there's not really any other way for me to really have a role in it anymore because it's, it's not my place because that's mania's place mania's place is to be the writer of these stories because they're her stories and i kind of feel that she's kind of pushing us out of that to help her because she wants to do it herself she she's very hands-on and wants to do it herself but i feel like if she started pulling more people in to help her write this stuff and get it finished it would flow better and it would be more organic and be better because the goal because her all her goal after season three is to top mystic hills with something better and i'm not sure if she can top herself with mystic hills because that was it's amazing it's an amazing story it's amazing world that she's built but i don't know if she can do it by herself And that's not me, like, talking down to her. Like, she's she's by far, because I'd like to think that we're really equal in storytelling, but by far she's had more experience. And by far she's, I'm, I'm just going to say, she's she's better than me. She's like, she's like a tier ahead of me already in terms of storytelling because I've, I've been trying to write books and stories forever. And I've always given up because I've lost the inspiration to build the world because it's missing something and I'm not and I, I looking back I know I know what those things are missing and I know what I can do to improve them because I have like written scripts manuscripts and everything written out and ready to go for me to translate into an actual book format but 
that's stuff to work on my own time. But I and I really haven't had time to work on it because I've been doing YouTube and working full time and doing all these other things. But anyway, I'm off topic again. But I think because after we finished season three, I want to talk about writing season three because it was very difficult. It wasn't that difficult for us at first because we kind of took turns writing the episodes. And for the most part, we worked on them together, except I had to do I did almost I did the majority of episode three, which will be one of the by far longest episodes ever, I would like to point out. And the final episode, episode 23, which is the season finale. And no, again, I'm not going to go into details of what's going to happen. You guys are going to have to wait until it comes out. But I know you guys are going to love it. You guys are going to love every minute of season three because it's by far the best we can do together. With a whole team, I'm sure we could blow it out of the par- blow it out of the water and completely demolish it with something better, but that's up to her. I have full faith we could do that. If we had a team together and we would meet up and talk ideas and make a story and build a world together, we would blow Mystic Hills out of the water with something new. But back on topic, writing season 3, writing the entirety of episode 3 was beyond difficult because it brought my original idea for the story to to fruition and it was difficult beyond difficult because it was just me writing and when i write i have trouble i get stuck sometimes on certain on how to play out certain events and it it took me a week to sit down and write the entirety of episode three because of the direction I wanted it to be presented and how I wanted it to be presented. And it's going to be very interesting to see it come to life because I, I worked really hard on that episode and I, again, I'm not, I'm not taking any credit for the story or anything. It's completely mania's stuff. All of her characters are hers. Um, they're not anyone else's. They're not based off of anyone else's. They're not ripped off from anybody else. There have been inspirations for some characters, but that's pretty much it. Um, and writing the final episode was beyond a challenge because that's it was the final episode. It had to it had to have a conclusive ending, and I wrote most of it a good. 70 75 percent of the episode i wrote most of it and mania closed it out and ended it but it was a huge challenge because there was a lot of things that we wanted to do and there was a whole bunch of stuff that we cut out and just didn't do because we did it didn't fit with the story i would love for because i'm also the one who did the movie projects and i spent 20 24 hours of my life making both movies getting them edited and rendered and getting them up it it took forever it took 24 48 hours of my life away from me to to do those but i loved it and it helped sharpen my skills as an editor on, on its own it helped edit sharpen my editing skills and helped me get a good hold of the new editing software that i had that i got a hold of back then and i'm still using now i'm currently using it now um, but it was a challenge and I'm, I, I feel like, like right now I feel really down that my, my involvement is going to be done after season three and that's just the fact that I've come to and I, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. Cause we need to move on. We need to grow, and we need to do different things, and that's fine. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna miss what we've, what we've accomplished, the team that we've built, and everything that's been done. I'm gonna miss it a lot. I'm gonna miss it a lot because I love everyone I work with. I really do. I really love working. I love working with everyone. Like 
especially Chris. I, I like to point out, um, I, I love to point out that Chris and I get all along amazingly well. And, like, we're really good friends out of character. Like, in character, we, we fight. We we're, we're really angry at each other, and we're, we, we butt heads all the time. But in, in, out of character in real life, we're, we're really good friends. Like, we get along way too well to not be friends, and I love it. I love the dynamic that we have and the duality that we have for characters, and it's it's great. Um, and I love working with Mania because she's, she's got so many ideas. She's got so many things she wants to do. And it's, it's really invigorated me to do more with what I'm doing on my channel. And I, I don't know, I could gush about it all day, but at this point I'm rambling on about other things as well. But I, like I said earlier, I would like for their, when the season three movie is in production, cause I've, I, I kind of cheated and got access to the to the first episode of season three early because I do the movie projects. Like I'm going to be making an entire movie out of the entire season. As you guys are seeing it by episode, I'll be editing it together into a giant movie and there's going to be 23 episodes. So the longest movie so far is, is an hour and 30 minutes, which is only 12 episodes. And some of them aren't very long and they had to be edited down because of all the, intros and all the announcements and stuff that were in those videos but they're but season three is by far going to be the biggest challenge because it's going to be longer than season one and two combined as movies which is easily two hours two hours and 20 minutes or something because the first movie is an hour and 30 minutes and the second movie and season two movie is only 40 eight minutes I think it was and it took a long time to get those finished it was a lot of work it was a lot of learning with my new editing software and everything to get it all working and then I rendered it at the highest possible quality with my current equipment with what I could and it turned out great and it really was a good refresher for people who either have only watched the first the second season or if they haven't watched it for a long while and it's just a good refresher to sit and uh sit and watch all of those episodes in one constant stream or just chip away at it every for a few minutes every day and it, it was a fun project and i loved it and it was great um but i for season three, I kind of want there to be an extended cut or a director's cut for... Because there's going to be two versions of the movie anyway because my end credits role has copyrighted music and that's why I'm going to put it on my channel because those are the original credits that I created for the movie. And those are pretty much finished. I just have to get everybody's names and everything on there and fixed and everything. But, um, there's also, there, it also makes me kind of want Mania to do a bunch of extra scenes and stuff for a director's or extended cut of the movie, because that would be great. That would be really cool to show some of the things in one version, the original version that was released as episodes and then an extended version for stuff that we didn't get to do in season three that we originally wanted to do. Because there's a lot of stuff that we had to cut out because of time and because we wanted to get the season finished. But even with all that stuff cut out, we still ended up with 23 episodes. And it was very concise and it flows very well. And it pays homage to the story and to the characters that go, that go with those episodes. And it's, it's great. And I think I, I've got I, I've only got one one last thing to say, and it, it it's really just thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much for allowing me to do some of these things and for bringing me on for this kind of stuff. This is this is kind of my personal message to the 
to the team and to Mania and everyone who's kind of who's supported us. Thank you so much for helping us do what we do. And thank you guys so much for supporting what I do on my own. Because I know there are a bunch of people who, who really support what I do with my channel and really help and try to be supportive. And I love, and I love that. Because it's, it's at this stage, I'm almost at 200 subscribers and I'm... I've kind of accepted the fact that I'm I'm not here for the money. I'm not here to start making ad rev and making this my job. I'm here because I love to do it. It is something that I love doing. And but I understand the importance of making money, which is why I work so much cuz these these are what make my money, my hands. I work with my hands. I'm very hands-on. I I have a very physically demanding job as well as mentally demanding because it's it's a very big drain on my sanity to deal with a bunch of people like that every day. But I I do it because and I do this, but I do this YouTube. I do YouTube because I love it. I love to do it. Like there's a whole bunch of stuff that I've done that I'm not proud of. There's a whole bunch of stuff that I am proud of. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's kind of in between. And I've loved it. And I'm really glad that, that Mystic Hills is something that I can look back fondly and remember. I loved working with those guys and just enjoying what I do. So anyway, I'm going to I'm going to stop before I I ramble on too much longer cuz we'll be here a whole other half hour. And I knew this was going to be a longer vlog to talk about this, but I really needed to get my thoughts out and I was just kind of sitting around. I woke up really early this morning, and I was just kind of like, I, I need to do a lot of thinking today. I need to I need to put some things in perspective and really think about some things. And I did, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it, and here we are. Um, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I really, as always, I, I appreciate every single one of you. I, I, I love you guys. You guys are amazing. All the support and love that you guys give is, is really invigorating. It really helps. Um, and I'm just super appreciative. I, I love what I do with what I'm doing on YouTube. And I love I love what I'm doing. It's That's, that's the long and the short of it. And it's... It's, it's great. So, I'm not going to tell you guys to worry about stuff in the description... I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff down there. There's stuff that I've done a long time ago. There's stuff that's not really that been there that long. But it's it's whatever. And as always, I will see all of you in the next video. Bye!